Today at 6 p.m. you can view the award-winning film Los Hermanos at the Gateway Regional Art Center in Mount Sterling. And joining us now to discuss the film is director of Patchwork Films, Ken Schneider. Good morning and thanks so much for being with us here. Good morning, y'all. Thanks for having me on. All right, Ken. So what was the inspiration behind this film? Well, my wife, Marsha, and I had been making films in Cuba for about five or ten years already. And I saw this concert um, by this wild-haired 30-something pianist. And I, I'm a music lover, but I'd never experienced anything like this concert. It was this a particular cocktail of, of Cuban music, which is rooted in the Western classics yeah. and inflected by Afro-Cuban rhythms and jazz from the U.S., uh, as well as uh, the classical traditions in Latin America. And it was a, a deeply joyful music. So when I came home from that trip and I talked to Marsha about it, we decided maybe this would be our next Cuba film, which would be focused on, uh, on culture and art and have politics in the background. And then it turned out that there was a beautiful family story of two brothers who have been forced apart by geopolitics for most of their lives. So let's talk a little bit about the event, about the Meet the Maker series. You're going to be there explaining it and screening it, right? Yes, it's part of the Southern Circuit, which is this very cool series of documentaries that travel around the southern states, hopefully with the filmmakers um, in tow. That's amazing. And I know you were wanting to touch on the diverse, diversity and inclusion in classical music. Uh, why is that so important? Well, it's important because, you know, classical music, orchestral music has audiences around the world and only something like 1.7 of the players in U.S. orchestras and symphonies are black and about 2.8 percent are Latino, which is far below the number of people who are interested in playing classical music. And then there's a question of what is considered classical, which typically is European masters, but there are classical traditions in in every region of the world. There's beautiful classical music from Latin America, from Africa, from African America. So there's the question of who plays it, what gets played, and who uh, you know who programs. So we are offering our film to organizations like the Sphinx Organization in Detroit and other organizations which have been working on these issues of increasing access to classical music instruments lessons, training, auditions, and they'll be using our film in their in their efforts to you know to provide classical music education and instruments to anybody who wants it. Now really quickly, uh, we're just about out of time. Tell us about the event tonight and uh, what time and where folks can uh, check it out. So I'd love you to join us at Gateway Regional Arts Center tonight on Main Street in Mount Sterling at 6 p.m. We're so excited this is our Kentucky's um, excited and uh, I'll be there presenting the film so if you come we'll be able to meet and chat I'll have a host a Q&A afterwards and we could talk either about the film or the issues it brings up and we've had great audiences throughout the southern states so far so I'm looking forward to a, a good run here in Kentucky awesome we appreciate right, you thank for you being so here much, with us Ken. yeah yeah. Uh, yeah it sounds like a really good time to go check out what a very passionate story there uh,